Uh, hi, my name is Justin. I'm um, 24 years old. I'm a student at Rutgers University. Um, I'm also uh, an in-home personal trainer and the bartender at the Den Nightclub in Somerset, New Jersey. Uh, tell me about your tattoo, first and foremost, because that's my curiosity right now. Well, uh, this tattoo is uh, Shema Yisrael, which is um, one of the most holy uh, prayers in the Hebrew Bible. It, is, uh, it actually says, uh, listen Israel, God is with us, God is one. Blessed be the name of our king forever. That's wonderful. Um, so you're a bar mitzvah boy, you've been bar mitzvah. Yes, I was bar mitzvah. Do you remember your bar mitzvah? It was unbelievable, yes I remember. Did you memorize everything, everything? Everything, everything. I couldn't read, I couldn't read anything that I was pretending to read, but I actually had everything written down in English and memorized it that way and then just kind of said it from, from mind, I guess. Did you have an awesome party afterwards? Um, yeah, my mother threw me, my mother right there, threw me a, a beautiful party. Uh, we, it, was, it was unbelievable. All my friends were there, all my family was there, my dad was there. It was, it was, it was a great time. That's fantastic. And you work at the Den, yeah? Uh, yes, I do. So I've never been to the Den. Walk me through it. Okay, well basically the, the Den is the first gay club that was ever in New Jersey. Um, they actually fought for the rights for there to be a gay club in New Jersey. And I started bartending there about eight, nine months ago. And um, it's, been, it's been a great time, great experience. I've met a lot of good people, made a lot of good friends. And that is, that's a gay bar, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, but you're a straight ally, yeah? I am a straight ally, but I'm very open-minded and just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the company and enjoy the scene. I think that's fantastic. How did you find your comfort zone uh, being around uh, so many uh, you know, uh, gay people? Well, um, first off, my mother's a big hippie. So I was just, I was, I was just, I was just brought up with, with in, in, I, guess, I guess in the scene. And uh, I, have, I have a couple of gay cousins. And you know, I, just, I just figured that there's the only way that I'm going to make money with my shirt off is working at a gay club. So. <laughs> So when do you start working at the Den? Um, I started working about eight months ago in October, like right before Halloween. So Halloween was my first experience. It was kind of like a big shock because my first like time really being like in, embraced in the environment, it was just whips and chains and leather everywhere. And it was, it was kind of crazy, but you know, it was, it was a good way to get involved in, in, into it. Were you wearing a costume? I was wearing a thong, actually. <laughs> actually. But I mean, whatever. <laughs> so your first night out at a, at a gay bar, thong. Well I, well, I had training for like two weeks beforehand, and then you know, actually, the, my my manager had me training, and I was wearing like a like a button-up shirt and jeans the whole time, and then uh, they asked me to take a picture for for the for the website, and he's like, well, do you mind taking your shirt off? So I took my shirt off, and he looks at me, and he's like, you've been standing behind the bar with your shirt on for the past three weeks, and so then the next week he asked me to come in in underwear, so I've been and you just did it. Yeah, fuck it, why not? That's fantastic. So you no, we can say fuck, right? Yeah, never say fuck. fuck. Good, I'm sorry. I will. I will. Fuck. <laughs> so. Oh, and you do uh, you do uh, in-home personal training? Yes, yes, I do do in-home personal training. Um, I just started recently. Um, I was a, I was a personal trainer at Valleys for a little while, and the whole running through a gym trying to pick up clients didn't work. So I started advertising on Facebook. And now I, I basically go to people's houses and you know train train them there. Okay, have you ever had like a little bit of a weird experience, or somebody had like a different expectation of a home training than what you were willing to present? Well, I mean, I, I walk into the situation because I, I I have I have a Facebook just for the den, so I have over two thousand friends, and ninety eight percent of them are gay. So I, I pretty much know the situation I'm walking into. So like, I'm never bombarded by something I'm not expecting. <laughs> and you're here with your girlfriend, yeah? Yes, I am. So she's also obviously cool with hanging out, uh, well, uh, hanging around a bunch of uh, gay people. Well, she actually two of her best friends are gay, and she's just happy I'm working at a gay club because it's not girls hitting on me all the time. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of makes a lot of sense. <laughs> all right, well, wonderful. It's been great talking to you. you too. <laughs> hey, this is Justin, and this is for PhillyGayCalendar.com. <laughs>